Oscar Pistorius now, former sprinter released from prison. Oscar Pistorius, the former South African Olympic and Paralympic star who killed his girlfriend Riva Steenkamp in 2013, was released from a Pretoria, South Africa, prison on January 5. According to the Associated Press, Pistorius served almost nine years of his 13-year five-month sentence. Pistorius, now 37, fatally shot Steenkamp inside his home in February 2013. He testified that it was an accident but was ultimately convicted of first-degree murder in December 2015. His release comes after he was granted parole on November 24. Pistorius is banned from speaking to the media until the conclusion of his sentence in December 2029, and he must also complete community service and an anger management course. The former Olympian was released to his family, according to a Department of Corrections spokesperson, and is expected to initially live at his uncle's mansion in the suburb of Waterkloof. Who is Oscar Pistorius? Oscar Pistorius is a former South African sprinter who became the first amputee to compete in track events at the Olympics. As an infant, both of Pistorius' legs were amputated, but that didn't stop him from becoming highly active in sports. He took up running at age 16, and within a year, he captured gold at the 2004 Athens Paralympics. Nicknamed the Blade Runner, Pistorius began competing against able-bodied athletes and achieved his Olympic dreams at the 2012 London Games. The following year, Pistorius was arrested for killing his girlfriend, Riva Steenkamp, at his home. He served nearly nine years of a 13-year, five-month sentence for first-degree murder before being released on parole in January 2024. Full name, Oscar Leonard Carl Pistorius. Born, November 22, 1986. Birthplace, Johannesburg, South Africa. Astrological sign, Sagittarius. Oscar Pistorius, seen here in September 2004 at age 17, became a Paralympic track star less than a year after he began competing. Oscar Leonard Carl Pistorius was born on November 22, 1986, in Johannesburg. The son of Hank and Sheila Pistorius, Oscar was the middle child of three. His family, while prominent in South Africa, lived a largely middle-class lifestyle. After missing the cut for the 2008 Summer Olympics in Beijing, a determined Pistorius focused his training on making the 2012 Summer Olympic Games in London. Along the way, the runner captured three gold medals at the 2011 IPC Athletics World Championships. Two more titles followed, in the 400-meter and 100-meter events, at the BT Paralympic World Cup. In spring 2012, Pistorius realized his ultimate dream when he qualified for the 400-meter race at the London Olympics. Although he was eventually eliminated in the semi-final round, he secured his place in history by becoming the first amputee athlete to compete in track events at the Olympics. Riva Steenkamp's murder, trial, and first sentence. Riva Steenkamp and Oscar Pistorius in January 2012. On the charge of first-degree murder, Judge Eric Leach said, I have no doubt that, in firing the fatal shots, the accused must have foreseen, and therefore did foresee, that whoever was behind the toilet door might die but reconciled himself to that event occurring and gambled with that person's life. The identity of his victim is irrelevant to his guilt. On July 6, 2016, Judge Masipa sentenced Pistorius to six years in prison for Steenkamp's murder. However, this sentence was condemned by the South African National Prosecuting Authority on the grounds that it was far too lenient and disproportionate to the crime. In September 2017, it was announced that the Supreme Court of Appeal would hear the state's argument against the six-year murder sentence, with a court date scheduled for November 3. On November 24, 2017, shortly after Lifetime aired its original movie Oscar Pistorius, Blade Runner Killer, South Africa's Supreme Court of Appeal handed down a new sentence of 13 years and five months to the fallen sports hero. Upon delivering the verdict, Supreme Court Justice Willie Sarity noted that Pistorius failed to explain in multiple court hearings why he fired the fatal shots and didn't seem genuinely remorseful. The sentence of six years' imprisonment is shockingly lenient to a point where it has the effect of trivializing this serious offense, he said.